Okay, I've been studying pulmonary arterial hypertension for um, over 30 years now, and it's a very rare disease, and it affects the lungs. And what it does is it um, causes thickening of the arteries in the lungs, um, and eventually these arteries will die off. And of course, the arteries in the lungs are essential for picking up the oxygen that we breathe in. So it's um, a very lethal disease. It has a very poor survival rate and it's uh, mainly women that get pulmonary hypertension, which is what I've become very interested in. Um, well, we believe that um, it's uh, oestrogen that is perhaps playing a role in um, the development of pulmonary hypertension. Um, so, you know, particularly oestrogen you know, is the sex hormone for women. Um, but for many, many years it wasn't really clear why. So we're actually now beginning to try and understand why so that, again, drugs can perhaps be designed to interfere with oestrogen in some way. Um, and there are clinical trials actually ongoing with some drugs that interfere with oestrogen. So that would, um, yeah, we're looking forward to the results of those. That's interesting. Um, my daughter asked me the same question when she was starting her studies at university and she said why did you study pharmacology and I said it's, it's just a, a subject area that really really fascinated me and interested me and I've always I said to her, well, I'll say to anybody, if something interests you it's much easier to study because you want to study it. So it's important that you study something that you're really passionate about and very interested in. And, um, by pure coincidence, maybe she ended up studying pharmacology. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness! Um, as empty as my brain just now, I think. <laughs> I can't.